Hello everybody, this is Trasnari. Welcome to a new Let's <coughs> Sorry, new Let's Play. This is the first in uh, a series by Ben Yahtzee Kroshaw, who is known for doing zero punctuation reviews on the Escapist magazine. What many people don't know is that he makes uh, flash game, uh, freeware games as well. This is the first in a series of four called the John Defoe uh, or Chizo Mythos series. And I'm going to be doing the entire series because they are fucking awesome. I hope you've been paying attention to the story because I haven't been reading it. Yeah, you think that, Trilby. Go ahead. Welcome to Five Days a Stranger. Let's start the game. Day one. <laughs> yep. And the gentleman thief makes his entrance. And yes, since uh, Yahtzee is British, I shall do terrible British accents through the, the entirety of this. So, uh, let's see, yeah, open the safe, down, empty, family solicitor got here first, yeah, 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 okay, well, I guess we might as well leave the way we came in, it won't open, must have been jawed shut somehow, well, I guess I'll have to take the old fashioned way out. Pip pip cherry all that good stuff. Yes, my British accent's terrible. What? Oh no! No! Stay away from me! Stay away! Wow! What got into him? Oh, why? Keep forgetting I'm wearing this thing. Oh, who the hell was that guy? I was under the impression this house was empty. Huh. Go figure. <laughs> Newspaper. Should always keep abreast of day to day events. Newspaper. And no, I won't read these aloud. I'll let you read them. They're only certain ones that I'll read aloud simply because they're fucking awesome, but you guys can read these. Just pause to read them. Okay. Uh, yeah, this way. Oh, and hate to ruin the surprise for you, but that phone is dead, and that door is, yeah, locked. Go figure. It's a rather amateurish landscape. The signature identifies it as the work of Matthew Defoe, circa 1818. Remember that. Important. <laughs> okay. I will take that. Thank you. No, I'm not going to do all the optional stuff, like watching the TV. Hey! Oops. It's about time to shout out. Um, I'm sorry? And well, you should be. I've been stuck in this house for days. What? Where's the way out? I'm sorry, I don't understand. You are the guy who owns this place, right? Uh, no. Oh. So how'd you get in here? Uh, window, second floor. Is it still open? Oh, no, no, it jammed shut. Damn. Well, it looks like the house is a new guest. Hope no more turn up. We've only got five chairs. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Wait a minute. Yes? Who are you? Oh, I beg your pardon. Hartie's the name. Philip Harty. Remember that name, too. And you are Trilby. Mr. Chilby, I'm afraid you are now a prisoner. Like me, like everyone else in this house. A prisoner? Don't ask me why, but once again, the house, it won't let you leave. I've tried the doors and the windows, and none of them will open. The garden walls are unclimbable, and I can't tunnel under it. But why? Who's keeping us here? Beats the hell out of me. 
Whatever it is, that will certainly not be safe for my fist once I get out of here. Yeah, because you look so tough. Now, if there's something you're not telling me, now would be a good time to get it off your chest. I assure you I am completely mystified. So how many more people are in this place? Only three more. First, there's Jim, the youngest. He turned up just after I did. He's a good kid. Second, Simone Taylor. You probably know her off the telly. She's a correspondent for the BBC. She came here to make some kind of documentary, I think, but now she's stuck here with us. Lastly, there's AJ. Skinny bloke with a tash. He won't tell us who he is or where he come from. All I know is he's been here longer than anyone. Nearly a whole week. I'm surprised not insane. Well, I think I've already met him. Oh, what a heartwarming story. Anyway, why don't you go see if you can track them all down? I'm calling a house meeting in the lounge. Spread the word. I still don't understand. Just find the others and tell them to meet up in the lounge. We can discuss things properly later. Okay, he's a douchebag. Just letting you all know that. I don't like him. A glass bell jar containing a rather hideous looking wooden idol. Again, that is important. <laughs> la 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 la. Pretty house though, isn't it? It's a very pretty house. Hmm. No chain, no latch, no deadbolt. Doesn't even have a keyhole. So why won't the bloody thing open? It's becoming very tiresome. The line's dead. Somehow I was expecting that. <laughs> Hello, love. No, talk to Simone, not the door, you douche. Pardon me, madam. What? Oh, hello. Philip mentioned we had a new guest. You're Simone Taylor, right? Yes, you must have seen me on TV. I mean, the telly. And you are? Trilby. Got a first name? No. Hey, wait a second. Not the cat burglar, Trilby. Oh, wow. I presented a crime watch special on you once. Oh, man. I wish I had a camera right now. This could be huge. That's what she said. You wouldn't consent to an interview, would you? Madam, even if I did have a sudden retarding brain injury that would cause me to do so, don't you think um, apparent imprisonment is a slightly more urgent matter? Well, I admit I thought so the first day I was here. But I've been here four days now, and I really think I'm learning a lot about this place. If I could just get these infernal doors open... Philip's calling a house meeting in the lounge. Yes, it's so like him to do that when a new face appears. I'll see you later, Mr. Trilby. I don't like her very much, and her voice is hard to do. I have a deep voice. Strange woman. Amen to that, Trilby. Alright. Door. Locked. Door. Locked. And yes, that doorway over there is the one we came in. Locked. Open. I could really do with a haircut. That you could, Joey. And finally... <gasps> Nothing here. How anticlimactic. And that's pretty much going to be the motto, because this is the end of the first episode of Five Days a Stranger. Uh, and yeah, don't send me any message or anything of what to do, because I've already beaten this and all the other Chizo Mythos games, so I know what I'm doing, kind of. If I forget something, I'll remember it later. Don't bother sending me a message about it, okay? This is, uh, your lovable, ever-likable Trask Nari, and... I guess I'll see all you guys later.